Hello, my name is Lynn Reagan. Welcome to this Data IQ Executive Overview video. Data IQ is a dataset management and storage monitoring tool which focuses on unstructured data workflows, which are represented via common network and cloud protocols such as NFS, SMB, and S3 object. Data IQ features the ability to use accelerated cross-platform scanning and indexing to acquire insights into the way data is being organized across storage platforms and providing visibility without necessarily granting access to change or modify content. Part of that visibility comes from tool sets within Data IQ, which allow the business to categorize and group together data content along business defined terms and across storage platforms. Within Data IQ, each volume that has been scanned and indexed according to the path and file name information is searchable. This fast search capability allows IT admins and business users alike to search for files and objects based on keyword or partial names. Global results indicate the volume path and location across differing data center platforms. Data IQ abstracts differing network shares from storage platforms in the data center and in the cloud and represents them as volumes. These volumes, which can have TCO costs applied and evaluated, are all browsable within Data IQ. It should be noted, Data IQ is out of band by nature. In other words, it is not a choke point for data access. Users or applications continue to access data from storage platforms, same as always. Shown here are a collection of NFS, SMB, S3 ECS, and Google Cloud targets, all configured and browsable within Data IQ. Data IQ provides a set of tools to enable a business to organize, classify, or group together related data from across storage platforms in the data center or in the cloud. It doesn't require actually moving the data around. Rather, these tools allow line of business users, content creators, and data managers to define the grouping of data through the use of data tags. Within this tag management window, we have an example of an organization using manually applied or inserted tags where primary investigators or researchers are tagging the data sets they create in order to support a chargeback model of operation. At the same time, a category of projects allows the business to track the rate of content creation, both from a consumption of storage resources by project view and how the data is being distributed across the storage platforms. Looking at the Analyze page shows us a real-time view of rolled up or aggregate summaries as pertains to these various projects which have been tagged, gaining insights also about overall progress of projects based on content volume. We can actually drill down on the graph and get taken to an actual listing of the folders being used by the researchers in order to verify correct tagging for billing or for chargeback showback purposes if grant-based funding is involved. Of course, traditional volume-based views are also available from the same page. Now, within the project category, we can also drill down on the view to get more specific understanding of the data distribution across storage platforms in a comparative manner between projects. In addition, the summary also shows average age of data, average cost per month of the data, if TCO data was applied to the volume, and summary size of data folders in order to enable business decisions about data placement. All tagging shown here is simply one sample configuration of how this tool set can be used for business purposes. Data IQ functionality can also be extended via an embedded API tool set, which allows the development of installable plugins. These plugins add to the features of Data IQ by allowing additional interaction with the index database. Data Mover allows for tactical or targeted replacement of data file folders between volumes configured on Data IQ. Data can be moved between storage platforms and between protocols, including file to object and object to file. However, the usage of Data IQ can provide an easy way to extend self-service archive to line of business data managers. More importantly, Data Mover can be leveraged to enable data placement between teams, between projects, or along stages of a business process. Its manual capabilities were designed to enable business action on specific files or specific folders based on the value of the content within the file or within the folder apart from more traditional policy engine based data tiering tools which rely on general data age or folder tree identification. 
OneFS storage monitoring was introduced in the current Data IQ release in order to centralize the monitoring visibility of multiple PowerScale and Isilon clusters. Key performance metrics are collected from all registered OneFS clusters and aggregated within one cohesive ClusterOps dashboard. The central focus was to provide monitoring at scale. Up to 70 clusters and up to 2,000 nodes can be monitored from this one console. The idea is to elevate the current status of any given cluster and provide drill-down detail on technical areas which are composite to the overall performance and smooth workflow of the OneFS cluster. For instance, on the main cluster summary dashboard, it is a simple matter to view and compare the health status, 1FS version level, number of nodes, available capacity, and percentage used. From the same dashboard, it is possible to drill down into the protocols being used for data shares and gain insights about throughput and latency. The IT admin can focus in on specific time windows, such as the last 15 minutes, the last one hour, the last six hours, etc., in order to review charted events. The Dashboard Navigator provides a series of sub-dashboards relating to the various classifications of collected metrics, such as client and user dashboard, or file system dashboard, or cluster performance dashboard. Within each of these, is a collection of charts collating the top 10 or top 15 users or client IPs or top nodes with high CPU, etc. There are supporting graphs which break out the details in terms of operations per second, number of active clients, highest file counts, and much, much more. Everything is built around visibility of current 1FS performance, status, and functionality. Thank you for watching this Data IQ Executive Overview.